is Quincy Davis, Assistant Professor of Jazz Drum Set here at the University of Manitoba. If you've been following my videos, thank you. Thank you for your support, and I'm very happy that so many of you are finding my videos helpful. Um, I apologize for kind of being missing in action for a while, but I'm back and will definitely be putting up uh, and posting more video lessons. So please stay tuned and keep all your suggestions and questions and comments coming because that really helps give me an idea of what you want to work on. But today we're going to be, it'll be kind of a, a lesson by interviewing one of the great, great drummers of our time, Gregory Hutchinson. Welcome back to Q-Tips Lesson of the Week. I got my man Greg Hutchinson here in, in Winnipeg, and he just uh, finished killing it at a show in, in Winnipeg. And, uh, it's too generous and too nice. No, he did his thing. So, Greg. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I wanted to ask you, First of all, how long have you been playing drums? See, I thought you were going to be friendly during this interview. Okay, I, I didn't know you were coming out. All right. No, no. <laughs> um, I started playing when I was three years old, and so I'm 45 now, so that's that's a, that's a good 42 years of drumming. Years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And and what got you into playing drums? My dad, actually. Yeah. Uh, I owe him. My dad and my mom owe the two of them all the credit. Wow. That's Rest great. in peace, mom. We love you, baby. So yeah, okay. Yeah, that was it, man. The love, you know, the same. Yeah. I'm sure you know all you drummers out there. We all probably have similar stories, banging on anything we could find, driving our mothers and fathers crazy. That's what we do. Until they bought us a drum set. Yes. Then we really drove them crazy. So that was it, man. It's still the same way too. Yeah. It's still the same. Man. And uh, who are some of your like most important teachers that you had? Uh, well, I'll say this, um, one of my earliest teachers was a guy named Wade Barnes, he passed away, okay. he was a great teacher, um, Marvin Smitty Smith, out in Los Angeles, come back, we need you, uh, KW, yeah, he's been out there for a minute, yeah, out there for a minute. the show's over, baby, yeah. <laughs> come on back, he made his money, come on back, come back now. <laughs> Kenny Washington, of course, my yeah. man, uh, I owe him a lot. For sure, yeah. uh, teacher that was very instrumental during my high school and college years, Justin Lechocho. Love you. Thank you for yeah, all Justin. of your knowledge. And then, really, I, I would say everyone that I had a chance to play with, I've learned something from. Yeah. And I'm still learning. It right. never ends. I know. Once you start, you don't finish. That's true. You don't finish, man. That's true. Even Greg Henderson is still working on stuff. Yeah, that's it, scary. You gotta practice, man. You gotta as practice. As great as he is. I want to. I want to get to the music. Um, yes. Sir. One of the things about your playing that people love is your feel, and in particular your your beat, mm -hmm. uh, your your ride yeah. beat. Uh, what did you do to, to work on that and develop that? And and what drummers kind of are big influences as far as the way you play time? Well, I mean, I think anyone who's heard me definitely you hear you know, influences of Philly and uh, Roy Haynes and. All, all, I guess all the cats, man, I mean, I was fortunate, and, and I've known you for a long time, so I think that we did we did things the right way. We, we were shown a path of starting from the beginning and coming this way. So when you do that, you, you actually learn all the simple beats, you try to learn all the simple beats of the masters, and then, you know, I like I said, I had some good teachers, and, you know, I was talking about this today. Walk the dog, like walk the that's dog. how I got that beat, man. I just never forgot about walking the dog mm -hmm. and making it feel good. If you can make it feel good, and I always tell guys, man, what you play on the drums yeah. itself. There are plenty of guys who play a lot of stuff on the drums, but then when it gets to the ride symbol, that's when you go. Mm -hmm. So, if you can make it here first, you can always learn this. The groove is essential. That's that's all. I, I mean, and for me, that's all I want to do. Really, I mean, I like when it bounces. When it's bouncing, it feels good. It's bouncing, yeah. Yeah. If it don't bounce, then something's not right. Then I'm not doing something right, or something's not happening right. And so for me, I was always influenced by how can we make people like, like what Don said something about making the people dance. Yeah. 
that's all I want to do. Like I want people to have a good time and dance, mm. and not be confused. That's that's one of that's the most important thing I, we could do as a drummer. And we keep working. Yeah, when you do that, yeah. you keep working, right? There's a reason why. There's a reason, man. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah, that's it. You know? yeah. yeah. So great. Um, I also wanted to ask you, what can drummers do to develop their their language and vocabulary as far as solo solo ideas, and even I guess comping as well. You have to listen, steal, mm. recreate um, to get the vocabulary. You can't play something that you don't know. You can't play something that you've ever heard. Yeah. So that's where the listening comes in from. Then stealing. Well, if you're listening, you have to steal what you've been listening to. Mm -hmm. Now, this is where the part gets tricky. This is where different people have different ideas on the last part. I say we create because, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not Philly, I'm not Elvin, I'm not Tony, I'm not Blakey. I love all of those guys. And sometimes, you know, we play, we have fun, and we, and we emulate them directly to the T. Yeah. But I'm sure if those guys were alive, they'd want us to recreate and take the music somewhere else because we're not them we are us and we're you know I think if we learn the right way we too can have something to say on the instrument now granted those those are the forefathers of what we do but I'm sure they would want us to carry on they wouldn't want to and they wouldn't want to be playing the same stuff that they played in the 50s either so I think the ability to, to do all those things will help you learn the vocabulary. Comping is the same thing. You gotta listen to the records and understand how to comp like Haynes, understand how to comp like Blakey, how Philly comps, uh, Sid Catlett, all the greats. Mm -hmm. And then come up with your own way. Like this is an individual, it's like a, <laughs> it's like, it's an individual journey that you, you have to invest time and energy in to learn all those things. But once you do, Copying, soloing, ride symbol. These are all things that you can you can get and in your own language. Everybody. We all have a we, that's the beauty of it. It's true. Also, yeah. They would just call the same person all the time, right? <laughs> if we all were the same, hey, just call him again. Yeah. You know? So no, that's why different cats get different calls and there's room for everybody. Amen. Amen, Amen to that. I like that one. So, there's room for us. There's room for everybody. We, we have, have a chance. This cat, man. <laughs> Uh, I know you heard him. <laughs> yeah, no, no. So, just a couple more questions. Yeah, um, I wanted to talk about, well, let me just get this out of the way. I know there's going to be some viewers out there who are interested in how you uh, worked on your speed. You know, drummers are always so impressed by speed. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mm -hmm. let's yeah. just, I'm curious what you have to say about that. Very slowly. Uh, slow to fast. Uh, Everything is slow to fast because if you can do it slow, it's just a matter of building stamina, muscle memory, stamina, building it up, building it up, and it gets faster and faster. Um, on the ride symbol, that was just trial and error. That was just mm. having to do something very fast and intimidation. Okay. It's cats don't really do now, so you guys are lucky. But yeah, just going slow. I didn't do it with a metronome. Just in terms of playing this, and with the rudiments, yeah, the rudiments I did with a metronome. Mm -hmm. And so we just build it up slowly, make sure everything's correct at the slow tempo, and then work on building it up a little faster, a little faster, a little faster, a little faster. Yeah. Until you arrive at where you want to be. Yeah. You know, and so I think the object though is to make it feel good, and if you make it feel good, then you can make it feel good fast or slow. Great advice. Hey, that's, I mean, okay. that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, you know, that's work. the goal. Okay. That's the goal, yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, last question. Yes, sir. Um, we're talking about tradition a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, wondering your opinion on the music today and how tradition uh, relates and how it's relevant and important, mm -hmm. or whether it's important or not, to know the tradition. Yeah. Um, to if you're not really playing traditional jazz. Yeah. What's, what's your I think, you know, I used this the other day. I said, if you want to become a lawyer, you have to know case history. If you 
want to do anything, you have to know the history of it. Mm -hmm. I think it's important for us to know the history of what we're doing, no matter what we go into. Um, it's always nice to say that you know something and you can do something. Now, whether you choose to do that thing, that's your choice. But if someone says, hey, can you, can you, can you swing, can you play some rock or whatever? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. But I'm part of this hard rock band right here. <laughs> or I'm part of this, this movement in funk or electronic music or whatever. I just think if you're going to learn to play the drums, learn to play at all. Learn, uh, don't limit yourself to just, okay, I'm just going to do this. Because when things get slow, you want to be able to work. Yeah. And you can't do that if you just say, I, like, when people just say, I'm a jazz musician, I say, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm a musician. Yes. Who plays jazz? Musician first. Yeah. And so I think that's the most important thing. My heart, I love jazz, of course. But if you call me for something else, I'm trying to do that too. Because you got to pay the bills, put yeah. the food on the table, all those things. And they don't want to know, well, anyway, I'm sorry, I, I didn't do that because it wasn't a jazz game. <laughs> so, don't limit yourself to the amount of fun you can have. Uh, you know, if you say, I just play jazz, well, then maybe you might not make it to Cuba. Because hmm. you didn't say you play Latin jazz, you just said, I play jazz. Yeah. So, maybe you don't make it to Cuba. But if you say, yeah, I play music, oh, come on, let's go. Yeah. So, I think that's essential. Be open. Stay open. Stay open. Learn to learn the the tradition. That's right. But stay, stay open. open. Stay open. And yeah. that vocabulary never leaves you. Yeah. You just learn how to utilize it in you know, different ways. ways. Different situations. That's right. And if you can do that, you will always be successful. You will always work. Mm. And you have a whole group of friends in different genres of music, which is great. Like that's what I like. I mean, so I can hang with the hip hop cats. I got cats in R and B field. Alternative pop, hard rock. So it's like no matter what, I have friends in different areas that I can call and say, hey, what's up, you know? And they respect what I do because it's, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you now, for you guys out there that think it's easy and that we just sitting here, you know, it's not easy. You try it. You try it. And you'll see that it's, the reason it takes a lifetime to learn is because it's not simple. It's, it's not the two and four, and I'm not making light of that. I'm just saying it's the two and the four with the and the two, the and the three, the and the four, the one, <laughs> then that dotted sixteenth on the and the four. You know, it's all those little things that make up what we do. Mm. And then it's spontaneous. It's spontaneous. So we're not doing the same thing over and over. It's, it's just here. So this jazz music involves your mind. So that's why we keep it moving, keep it fresh, keep it open. Great. Keep it, keep it, keep it Winnipeg. It's <laughs> if that's a word, I don't know. We didn't well, even now, drink yet. Now it is. Now, now it is. Now it is. <laughs> man, great. Thank you so much. Money, man. Man. Hey, check my man here because he's doing a good thing for you guys. So if you, you know, he's trying to give you some knowledge. And so that's really important. A lot of guys ain't trying to do that, you know, so. Check him. Well, and also check him. And can you go ahead with your www.hutchology.com. That's Open Studio Network. It's, it's a similar thing, you know, just talking about the drums and some lessons online. But you see, we were lucky, and I think it's, it's our responsibility to give back the Absolutely. same way that we were, we, we were given. It would be really selfish of us to not share. Mm. And it wouldn't be cool. And so for me, and I know for my man here, that's why he does this. We could be sitting over there drinking our drinks, but we, you know, we want to come talk to you guys and give you real talk. It's real talk. It's real talk. With Hutch so, and Q. Peace. Till the next time, stay tuned. I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm back and uh, you'll be seeing new lessons put up in the next few months. So that's it. We out.